Paris and Shine, Sleeping Beauty. Fishy! Good morning. Why are you sleeping? Uh, wake up! Quite the view to wake up to. Isn't it, though? Like that, look at that. How did you sleep? I slept well. Uh, mm. Ready for some eggs? I am so stoked for some eggs right now. That's Great, awesome. let's make them. Bomb. Bomb! All right. Trailbenders Overland is presented by Stockham Media and supporting sponsor, The Waterport. Good morning. It's day five, Thursday, the day before the expo. Um, we made it to Coal Mine Canyon last night, which is just a spectacular view. It's one of my favorite places, and it's the first time I've gotten to camp here, which is, which is great. The, the tent opens up right to the canyon. It's just spectacular. Uh, we're getting ready to make some breakfast and uh, reorganize a little bit. It's amazing how fast uh, everything gets kind of disorderly. So uh, we're going to reorganize and then head out to the Grand Canyon and uh, then make our way down to Flagstaff. It's been a good trip so far. Thursday we have four, five days left. Excited. How'd it do? Hey. Ah, uh, shoot. Are you ever gonna get up? Shoot, yeah. Well? Oh, sleep is so nice. Well, I'm... Yeah, when you sleep for ten hours. That was like eight, which is normal. No, that was definitely nine. Well... Now we're rested and we're able to hit the road. We didn't fall off the cliff or anything, so. Able to hit the road, we gotta make breakfast day. and organize first. Which we're gonna do that. Yep. Let's go! Okay. What's up? Uh, beautiful morning here at Coal Mine Canyon. And we're off to see the south rim of the Grand Canyon. So, yeah. Then Flagstaff, where we will be at the expo. So, I have not been to the Grand Canyon, surprisingly. So, I am super stoked to see what this looks like in person with the naked eye, because I've learned already that with Horseshoe Bend and Antelope Canyon, things do not look the way they do in photos once you actually see it. On our way south to Grand Canyon, we make a quick stop at Little Colorado River Gorge, a must see if you're heading through the east entrance of South Grand Canyon. It's a nice little teaser before Grand Canyon. Oh yeah, preparing us for what we will experience there. I mean, kind of. <laughs> but still spectacular nonetheless. Yeah, that's amazing. You get too close and your feet start to wiggle. <laughs> 
the Navajo here really has some neat jewelry and goods. Um, we're at the Little Colorado River Canyon, and this is what I got for Sarah. Finally found something. It's a necklace. It was the most unique one on the table. And I knew it was the one for her because I tried it on to see how this, I don't know, memory wire works. There's no clasp. Um, and when I went to take it off, it got stuck in my hair. So it wanted to go home with me. This little emblem means uh, prosperity. Michael's about to see his first view of the Grand Canyon. Yes, one of the seven wonders in the world. I can't believe this is happening. Super excited. Let's do this. We all scream for ice cream. We all scream for ice cream. Alright, so we just met this awesome guy named Bob right here. Um, he's on a, a pretty epic bicycle trek. So you want to talk about that for a second? Sure. Hi, I'm Bob from Chicago. I started my bicycle trek in Mountain View, California between San Francisco and San Jose. Went south all the way down to Santa Monica and then went east through LA and Pasadena, Route 66, Sierra Cascades. Then on to the Anza Borrego Desert, and we've been doing mountains and desert, and now we're at the Grand Canyon National You never Park. know who you're going to meet and what amazing stories they may have. Never be afraid to start a conversation. Bob has now completed this massive bicycle trek. Hats off to you, Bob. Thank you so much, Bob. That sounds like an impossible trip, and it's a real inspiration for anyone that's thinking about it. It's it's more possible than you might think, but you got to get your body ready or start out slowly. Thank you so much, Bob. Thank, Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks for You're the inspiration. Welcome. Cool. Check in the description below for a link to the awesome interview we got with Bob. How's Grand Canyon, Mike? Uh, Grand Canyon. So beautiful. Words can't really describe it. You have to come see it for yourself. So yeah, that's fair. Sorry, we did the we did the tour the touristy thing. We went to four different stops. But it was cool. Oh, and Bob was awesome. Yeah. Bob, he's he's crossing well half the country, most a lot of it, most of it on a bicycle. It's crazy. Amazing. He's motivated. Well, we're on our way to Flagstaff. Hoping um, we get in without a hitch. Just got my ticket saved to the phone. Either way, we'll see you there. You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> Just gonna send it. Just gonna send it. Morning. Morning. Rise and shine. Uh, it was a good night's sleep. Yeah, it was a good night's sleep, wasn't it? Nice and long, huh? Mm. I'm making breakfast. Oh, sweet. I'll be done shortly. Alright. Made it to the expo last night. We were so tired we couldn't film at all, but 
Um, we're getting ready to make some breakfast and uh, head over to opening remarks. Making egg and chili. Traveling together. Is that you? Hey, how are you doing? Good. I was talking to you on Instagram. Oh, awesome. How are you doing? Good, nice to meet you. I, I, was, I just started watching your videos. Um, um, I was, ta I, was I, think I, I don't know which it one. It was probably me. Yeah, and, and said we'd meet up. Trailbenders. Yes, I do remember, yeah. yeah. Cool. What's up, Pixel? All right, here at Overland Expo West. Um, just did my first seminar. It was Mexico for Beginners. That's super cool. Encouraging for anyone who's afraid of going. Um, if there's anything that I can say, first off, bring a bicycle. If you're camping here, it's a long walk. Um, a lot of ground to cover. So my feet are feeling it already and it's still just morning time. Um, but so far, this has been amazing. So cool. Hey guys, just ran into Amy and Matt from the Traveling Together Journal. Got it. Right? That's, yep. It's kind of a little bit long, but how are you guys liking the show so far? Oh, uh, it's been fun. We yeah. just finished a round table about Africa, so we're starting to plan our next trip. Oh, in Africa. Yeah, it was cool. It yeah. made it sound really similar to traveling to Mexico and Central America. Really? Yeah. Similarities. yeah. The first hours at Expo have been better than expected. We finally got to meet the guys at Expedition Overland, who was the reason we ever learned what Overland was in the first place. Big thanks to them for producing continuously awesome content. Okay, that was super awesome. We just got to interview Nate from Expedition Overland. I was total fanboy, toning it down my best. We got to talk to Jeff a little bit. Now we're just looking for some food and trying to figure out what... Where's the best food? They're cool guys. So I just met uh, Mike and Doug. That's right. Yeah. And uh, Mike watches our videos, I do. I which do. is super cool. We're walking by. Hey, good just walk by. Good and job. I'm like, video. What up? Yeah, that's great. And um, I'm camping. I don't even know where I'm camping. It's so far away. Really, I mean, it might as well be China. That's yeah, how, so. I have an off-road vehicle, so no matter where you go, doesn't matter. I can get you there. Yeah. So uh, they're giving me a ride, and that's super cool. Thank you. You're welcome. It was a bit unreal meeting some of our viewers and subscribers this trip. If you ever see us around, never hesitate to say hello. Meet you it was awesome. Doug, to you. Thank you. Hey, thank appreciate you for the ride. Hey, yeah. much appreciated. Dude, I enjoy the conversation, and that's yeah. what it's all about. Learn, meet new people, learn yeah. new skills, Absolutely. learn new things. Senior rig is really cool. I can't believe thank you've you. done this. And it's been a great And not only that, I can't believe you've done it, and it actually looks <laughs> yeah. good. Like, like you look at a guy, I just yeah. learned to sew. Really? Because <laughs> from 10 good. feet away, yeah. it, looks it, looks like, professional. it looks like, I was like, where'd you get the tent? He's like, yeah. I made it. And I'm like, no. no. That was raw fabric. And so, yeah. Uh, seriously, I think that's really neat and to show a lot of these people around you that are sitting yeah. here with all these pre-made stuff. It's pretty it's pretty awesome, yeah. dude. Well, thank you and so, thank you for watching the video. Yeah, man. Yeah. Keep yeah. going yeah. and keep yeah. at it because yeah, sure. people need to see kind of that raw, like what you can do totally. and that's... And you can do it. Just go do it. You can do it. Just go do it. Yeah. Just, you just gotta, you gotta get up and you gotta just do it. Do, yeah. yeah. Don't overthink <laughs> Don't it. Exactly. Alright, it's Saturday, day two of Expo. Um, and if there's one word I could use to describe this awesome event, I guess I already used one, uh, it's expansive. This place is endlessly just filled with great, awesome rigs and cool booths, cool exhibitors, people selling things and you can just get in, in a great conversation with just about anybody. So. Uh, so far, it's just been an amazing experience. Uh, I have a couple more classes to do today, more people to meet and say hi to, a couple interviews, 
Uh, so anyway, I'll see you over there. So one of the things that I really like about this event is while I'm a truck and tent guy, here you can find big trucks, little trucks, vans, trailers, uh, motorcycles. It's just an all-encompassing event when it comes to overland. And you can find anything here. It's amazing. receiving a t-shirt <laughs> thank you very much low clearance low clearance low clearance there you go <laughs> road not maintained for low clearance vehicles take a video of this guy he started everything your name again so i met like <clears throat> 10 of you last night and you all met me so i feel yeah. like it's a little <laughs> um your name again so todd why did you start Trails off road. I started trails off road because I was tired of being bored to death on a trail or scared to death on a trail. And I wanted a website that would allow people to find a trail that met their adventure threshold. All right, uh, trails off road crew is super cool. Just nice people. They genuinely care about what they're doing. And um, if you haven't heard of trails off road or if you haven't been to their website, it is awesome. It's about to get a lot better. I mean, <laughs> I'm excited. For, well, about to. When by the time this video releases, it'll be out. But uh, the new map feature is going to just—it's a game changer. Before everything was in a list, and it was helpful, but now you can actually see exactly where it's at as you're looking for it. So that's uh, probably what I'm most excited for. And I think the new subscriptions are going to be 25 bucks a year. Totally worth it. I've been using Trails Off Road for probably the last year now, and um, that's actually how we found the Barracks Trail for season two. And pretty much anytime I'm looking for a new cool place to see, that's the website I go to. And so it's just awesome to get to meet the people behind it. Um, so definitely go check out Trails Off Road. When you get a chance, check out this interview we got from the couple behind the Traveling Together Journal about their trip through Mexico and Central America. Also, be sure to check out their YouTube channel. It's a good one. All right, so you want to know what it's like to be at Over the Next Level. Look at this. Hundreds of people, thousands of people. I don't know how many people are here. Every single one of these people are awesome. Everybody has got great stories. They're super friendly. I never, I mean, I knew, but now I really know Overland is just such a great community. And so it just feels amazing to be a part of. So uh, if you can, make sure next year uh, at Over, uh, Expo East, Expo West, make it to it it's worth it it's worth the money it's worth the whatever it takes to get there really just just awesome that's all it's overwhelming but it's great time to go meet some more awesome people what's up guys i just met virgil can you give me one word to describe your experience here at the overland expo uh, the word would be enlightening and I think it's because it's re rekindled the wanderlust that I had when I was younger and used to just go in a van, live out of a van for four or five months, mountain bike, do all the things that I enjoyed in life that got lost somewhere along the way of, you know, being corporatized. And this weekend has been phenomenal for me. I mean, I think enlightening is probably the best word to, de to describe it overall. And it really has re rekindled my wanderlust. And now I'm looking at a big trip. I like to start planning. Going as far north in America as I can, all the way down to the tip of South America. A lot of work, a lot of planning, obviously a lot of uh, money to put put aside to do this, <laughs> and a lot of logistics, but it, it's it's kind of rebirthed something in me that's been phenomenal. So Overland Expo 2018 West has been an awesome experience for myself. Hey, Virgil, thank you. Appreciate Enlightening it. is a perfect word. Yeah. That's awesome. Next on Trailbenders Overland. We get deeper into Expo's offerings, say farewell to new friends, and have a quick rest before packing up and hitting the road. Stay tuned for what's next now that we've made it to the Expo.